Hello, I'm John Davidson, and welcome to Intermediate Algebra. This uh, first section, back to this first topic, is, uh, is one you've all done before, solving linear equations. But uh, I want to take um, probably a little deeper look at solving equations than you may be, may be accustomed to. You know, part of my um, job here is to get across to you some of the deeper aspects of math, why it works, and to build your understanding of mathematics beyond just you know trying to memorize how to how to do things. So anyway, let's let's get started with solving an equation. And here we are. In these videos, I'm going to read everything I write on the on the board here just to make sure it's it's clearly legible as to what you're seeing. So this says to solve 2x minus 7 minus 6x equals 8 plus x minus 25. Okay, now our first uh, step, probably one of the best steps we can take here, is to shrink down both sides. So I'm going to combine terms on each side separately. And here you see that we have 2x and, and minus 6x, they're like terms. We can combine those. So 2x minus 6x is negative 4x, and then the 7, the minus 7 stays where it's at. On the right side, I can combine the numbers. 8 minus 25 is negative 17, and then plus x. So this is um, typical of all linear equations. You can always shrink it down to no more than four terms by simplifying each side separately. All right, now what's our next step? Well, I'm going to, um, you know, what does it mean to solve? The, the solve means to get x equals to a number. And so I have to isolate x. And I have x's on both sides. So now this is where we begin the, the transfer from one side to the other. And I think this, I will, um, I think I'm going to subtract x here. Now, you know, this first step, it, it doesn't really matter what you do, as long as you do it to both sides. We can subtract, we could add 17 in order to cancel the negative 17. We could add 7 to cancel this negative 7. We could add 4x to both sides. As long as you do it to both sides, you keep the balance, everything is fine. So it's, I think, a matter of taste where you, where you begin at this point. All right, um, minus 4x, minus x is minus 5x. I'll bring down the minus 7, minus 17. And here, these are going to cancel, leaving 0. So x minus x is plus 0. And there's no sense putting a 0 there, so there we have it. Now, now look how I'm doing this. You're going to find that uh, my, my work throughout all these videos and in my books, um, I'm going to be trying to be very organized. And you see I've got the minus x on both sides. You can clearly see that we've kept the balance of the equation. Um, all right, so textbooks tend to put everything on the same line, the same safe space, but I don't think that's a good idea. Because um, here it's pretty clear that we're subtracting x from both sides. <clears throat> Alright, now what would you do next? Well, now there is a best next step here because we have x's down to one term. We need to get the non-x's to the other side. So I'm going to eliminate the minus 7 by adding 7. So I add 7 to both sides. And this gives me minus 5x by itself because the 7's cancel. And let's see, negative 17 plus 7 is negative 10. Okay, one more step. And what do we do? Minus 5 is multiplying x. I need to get rid of minus 5. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide by minus 5, both sides. So again, I'm continuing this very deep process of, of uh, doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. All right, now these cancel, and um, leaving x equals to and, and negative 10 over negative 5. Always simplify your fractions, and, and this comes out to be 2, exactly 2. So, all right, there's our answer. Now, uh, one thing I'd <laughs> like to point out is, um, you know, one of the first things you learned about algebra was the order of operations. Remember, the order of operations says you're supposed to do... Things in, you're supposed to uh, simplify things in parentheses first, and then you're supposed to do the exponents, and then multiply and divide, and then add and subtract. Um, just 
just an observation here. We sort of did this backwards. That uh, I added and subtracted first <laughs> to simplify, and then I multiplied or divided to finish the problem. So I did addition and subtraction, the multiplication and division. All right, I don't know if that's uh, terribly profound, but it's it's kind of interesting that the that the typical process in solving equations is sort of the reverse of the order of operations. So for, for what it's worth, that's I think interesting. Now there are always exceptions uh, to this, but um, typically that's that's what happens. All right, well we have an answer. Now let's let's check to see if that's the right answer. Okay. Now, about checking answers this way, how I'm going to do it. I know a lot of students, uh, probably most students, really resist doing this. And uh, I, I got to tell you that if you take the time to check your answers the way I'm going to show you, uh, you're going to do great. You, you really are. And because uh, when you check your work whenever you can, you, you really build a much deeper, better understanding. And you just get better at the uh, accuracy also. So, um, all right. So how do I know this is an answer? This is the correct answer if this is what satisfies the equation. So what, what does it mean to satisfy the equation? It means that it balances the equation when I replace x with my answer of 2. So I'm going to check it here and replace x with 2. 2 times 2 minus 7 minus 6 times 2 equals 8 plus 2 minus 25. And uh, this won't take much. Let's see, there's 4. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 7 minus 12 equals 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 minus 25. And here I've got uh, 4 minus 19. 4 minus 19 is negative 15 and 10 minus 25 is also negative 15 so it checks that's the correct answer all right well um, all equations can be checked it uh, you know late later on in math you'll, you'll find that it's, it's, there's some times where it's not that productive to try to check it this way there are other ways to check your work but uh, but for now this works great